I'm going to show you how you can lower your A1C and fasting blood sugar before your next checkup. This is absolutely going to work because it's not rocket science. And if it doesn't work, you can email me and I'll hop on a call with you because to this day, it has not failed. First, you have to understand that the root cause of your blood sugar problems is insulin resistance. So whether you have prediabetes or type 2 diabetes, you're dealing with insulin resistance underneath the surface. So that being said, carbohydrates are not actually the problem. Blood sugar spikes are not actually the problem. What you need to focus on is on becoming more insulin sensitive. And that is done through a series of lifestyle changes. Insulin sensitivity means that your cells are going to respond to the signals of insulin, which basically tell your cells to open up so glucose can go in. So if your cells are insulin sensitive, blood sugar is going to come down. The first change is a nutritional approach. So you have to lower the amount of saturated fat that you're consuming and increase the amount of fiber that you consume to at least 30 to 40 grams per day. And to lower your saturated fat intake, just focus on eating less dairy and less fatty cuts of meat. Also, less oils and less butter. Now you may be thinking, but fat doesn't spike me up, so how is fat bad for me? Fat is actually interfering with your insulin signaling at a cellular level. I'm not lying, look it up. The next change is going to be movement. You're gonna to have to do it daily, I'm sorry. It can be as simple as walking after meals and doing resistance training two to three times per week. You don't have to go to the gym, just get some resistance bands and do a workout like I said, three to four times per week for 30 minutes or so. Number three is going to be a supplement addition to your routine. Actually, two supplements. Number one, berberine. It has been shown to improve your insulin sensitivity. And number two is magnesium glycinate, which has been shown to improve insulin receptor function. You're hearing this again and again and again. Insulin, insulin, insulin. Yes, insulin sensitivity is what you should care about. Once you switch your focus from fear of carbohydrates to how do I become more insulin sensitive, you will get the results that you want to see. Go ahead and comment guide below so I can send you a free meal plan and an overall understanding of how to become more insulin sensitive. It's free.